In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the cell cycle. Like in the previous video, we discussed about the spindle assembly checkpoint. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the silencing of spindle assembly checkpoint. In this case of silencing, we need to activate the APC or you can say cyclosome. We know when we have unattached kinetochore, the SAC that spindle assembly checkpoint activates the MCC that's mitotic checkpoint complex. Then this MCC inhibits the APC and this process is deemed as spindle assembly checkpoint. But when we have attached kinetochore, that time we need to deactivate the MCC. Its deactivation means APC will no longer be inhibited. So it is the attached kinetochore at centromere that mediates the silencing of spindle assembly checkpoint. Now let's see the mechanism in detail. Here in this diagram we have the centromere and to it we have kinetochore bound as shown in the diagram. And then to this kinetochore the microtubule gets attached. Then we can say we have the attached kinetochore and this will mediate the silencing of spindle assembly checkpoint. And we know we have the plus end and minus end of microtubule as shown in the diagram. And we also see some interaction of motor proteins with the microtubule. Like we have the dynein motor protein that interacts with microtubule. And this dynein motor protein moves towards the minus end of microtubule as shown in the diagram. Now getting back to the silencing of SAC. Here first of all we see the Blinken protein binds with the kinetochore. And furthermore, it recruits many more proteins like BUB1, BUBR1, BUB3 and many more proteins. We also see here that MPS1 protein leaves off the kinetochore under the attachment of microtubule with kinetochore. Now what starts the silencing of SAC? Here first of all we see the recruitment of P31 or TRIP13 that acts as an inhibitory cap for MAD1 C MAD2 core complex. This core complex that's called as MAD1 C MAD2 core complex acts on O MAD2 and converts it into C MAD2. So we see here O MAD2 is getting converted into C MAD2. That means open form of MAD2 protein gets converted into closed form of MAD2 protein because the closed MAD2 protein is used in this process. And this closed MAD2 protein will eventually bind with the CDC20 forming us the MCC protein with other BUB proteins. But the catch is here. This P31 inhibits this process of conversion of open form of MAD2 to closed form of MAD2. So it halts the formation of MCC because we have no longer closed form of MAD2 protein here. Which means APC protein gets activated and cell moves into anaphase, thereby silencing the spindle assembly checkpoint. Second mechanism is via MPS protein. It also helps in mediating the inhibition of MCC protein, which also silences the SAC. Third important mechanism is through dynein motor protein. It strips off some proteins from kinetochore. Like it removes MAD2 protein from kinetochore. That means CDC20 protein is left activated on the removal of MAD2 protein. And furthermore, this CDC20 protein binds with the APC protein and mediates the transition from metaphase to anaphase. So this is how we get the silencing of SAC. Now let's see how APC and CDC20 mediates the transition. First of all, APC protein mediates the ubiquitination of cyclin B protein as shown in the diagram. That leads to degradation of cyclin B and its inactivation. And in the next step, APC also ubiquitulates securin protein and mediates its degradation. That leads to activation of separase protein. Then this separase protein degrades the cohesin protein, breaking the link between sister chromatids and initiating the anaphase. So this is how we get the transition from meta to anaphase. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.